on, man. No. Comfy enough, not too tight like that at all. Okay, cool. Wider side of the comb, less tension. Bring it through. When you push it forward, watch what happens. The hair will naturally break. And whatever that natural break is, that's where we're going to use for our sections through the top, etc. Get that saturation right in there. At the head. And essentially the comb lies flat. You know, that's the highest point on the head. And from there, we're going to draw a line from the top all the way to the side. And thus separating the back from the front, just like that. All right, left. Right, like so, and that's cool. All right, very, very naturally, you're going to come in. I want to just dust off those ends a little bit from the bottom to the top, just like that. Using that little reference as a guide, very simply looking just to really freshen up the length. Now, what you're going to notice is that I'm not using any uh, blunt line. See that? I'm not actually cutting it blunt or flat. Reason is, I want to allow this hair to move <clears throat> as freely as possible. So here we go. This time, comb is going to come in. All right, match the shape of the head, bring the section out, ensure that head is upright. Bringing our comb right out there, fingers behind the comb, and we're gonna drive that section right on it. From there, we're gonna just point cut pretty much everything in the end there. Not looking for total balance, but rather relevance. Two and three, straight on out there, mate, just like that. And we are gonna see now, in this scenario, a little bit of a reduction in length. Top to bottom, just like that. I'm gonna use that guide from the back, so here we go. Part that there, just like that bringing our section straight on up. And of course, same thing, mate. We're gonna start point cutting that section right the way through. All right, from back to front now, here we go. I'm gonna reduce the length on this a little bit for sure, because it's quite long and quite heavy. One and two, straight on up. All right, on the base, point cut that section on in. I'm gonna repeat that process. All we're going to do is we're going to set in our weight line. I'm going to come in like so, like that. I'm going to bring my section one right down to roughly that kind of temple peak point. I'm going to take that length away from top to bottom, all the way to just the top of the ear. And that's going to be section number one. All right, three down to one. Okay. Keep that disconnection in play. See what we have here? You can cut that. Now, blind me right, that's way shorter, but look what happens. You just, you actually can't tell, which is the cool thing about it. We have this really beautiful mullet vibe. reason why I'm doing this dry nile is because I need to see what way the hair is responding. I want to bring that line right on in. Very free with the finger razor or handheld razor, to say, feather razor, whatever. One of them.
flicking the number three right on into it, like so. Into all that lovely weight there to the back. Okay, I'm gonna bring the 0 0.5 right underneath that. Then of course the zero. Right underneath the 0 0.5. And then I'm gonna blend it up with the transition. Open it up. Very similar to number two. There, bro. That's all. It is the one for me. Mm. I love that little bit of strength over the ear. Mm. That kind of little mullet vibes kind of comes out, and you can kind of wear that whichever man. And uh, head back there for me, handsome. And just kind of just, you know, I mean, look at that already. To me, that's giving it a much kind of cooler lift. So I think paste is a great option. Cream, you, I think the beauty about the men's parts of it, you can use anything bro, on anybody, and it, it would still work, it's water soluble, so it's not gonna, you know, um, it's not gonna cause a lot of, you know, um, hassle in, in, in reality.